Dorks of Yore. Hey guys, I'm Pat Kilbane. Welcome to RPG Science, where we explore the physics and biomechanics behind tabletop role-playing games. And this is part three of three on breaking down hit points. And in this episode, we are tackling hit points and skill. Just to review, we've already talked about how the physical and mental aspects of hit points reflect injury resistance and injury tolerance. Well, the skill component of hit points reflects injury mitigation. In other words, the more skilled you are as a defender, the more you can turn a damaging blow into a less damaging blow. When a pro fighter throws a punch, oftentimes you'll see him tuck his chin into his shoulder. That way an incoming blow will either hit him on the shoulder or high on the forehead instead of square on the jaw, which can be a big problem. A fighter can also roll with the punches, moving his head in the same direction that the incoming punch is moving. That reduces the net velocity between fist and head, thereby reducing the force of impact. Or a fighter can interpose his hands or arms to absorb some of the impact with a body part that is less vital than his head. Notice in all of these cases that the fighter is still being hit, but he is mitigating the damage with these skill-related techniques. Most role-playing systems will model this by giving a character more hit points as he increases in skill. Just a quick note regarding dexterity. If skill helps you to mitigate damage, then speed and reaction time certainly would too. So arguably your dex bonus could be applied to hit points as well as to armor class. Some of the rule books mention luck as a factor in hit points, and this kind of makes sense mythologically, because the more heroic your character becomes, maybe the more the gods will tip the hand of fate in your favor. More scientifically, luck could be considered unconscious skill. In other words, the more experienced you become as a fighter, the more your unconscious instincts will put you in the right place at the right time to avoid damage. Malcolm Gladwell talks about exactly this kind of unconscious calculation we make in his best-selling book, Blink. Well, that's enough about hit points. That's, I think, four episodes now that I've done on hit points. So I'm going to move on to some real weapon physics next episode. And until then, please comment and discuss below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please support us on Patreon. See you next time.